That was Jess Glynn there and Take Me Home, the official Children in Need song for 2015. Thank you for joining me, A.D. Damon, live on BBC Radio Leicester this Saturday morning. I'm delighted. I've got three very special guests in front of me here today. Um, now, lots of people, you have, I don't know, cake bake sales, you have raffles, you have ways of raising funds. But how many people can say that they've bought out an e-book? Yes, an e-book, a collection of different stories that various writers from all over Leicestershire have written to make money and raise funds for a very, very good charity, the Carer Centre of Leicestershire and Rutland. Here to tell me more, I'm going to let you all introduce yourselves from left to right. I'm Charles. Charles? I'm from, I'm from the Carer Centre. You're from the Carer Centre, Charles? I'm Dale. I, uh, I came up with the, the big care writer. Uh, and I'm Grace, and uh, I was one of the writers for the anthology. This is brilliant. We've got a hat trick of three of the most important people possible to make sure that this ebook came together. Um, Charles, tell me more. You're centre manager at the Carers Centre. That's correct. Yeah. Um, tell me more about what you guys offer. What what happens at the Care Centre? Talk me through what you okay, guys do. Okay, we work with family carers. They're people who are looking after a, a friend or a relative who is uh, disabled, elderly, or, or seriously ill, something like that, uh, who who could not be at home without that support. Uh, we provide an advocacy service which is representing people uh, when working with social workers or with... Oh, give some feedback there. We'll get a, yeah, it's all right, we'll go with it, it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> or, with, um, or, or with health professionals so that their views are heard and acknowledged. Uh, we also provide training and information services. Oh, blimey. We're getting a little bit of feedback, aren't we, yeah. here at the minute? It's all, I move it, back a bit. It's all right. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll roll with it. I'll pull the other two mics down at the minute. So, so what we'll do is we'll talk to you, Charles. So it, the Care sure. Centre offers this, um, you know, this kind of lifeline, I guess, to people all over Leicestershire and Rutland. Yeah, in an average year, we have contact with, with between two and a half and 3,000 carers in, in Leicester and Leicestershire and Rutland. Uh, bearing in mind there are over a hundred thousand carers, it, it's uh, that there are a lot of people out there who need help. There's a lot. There is an awful lot to, to, of, of going on, like you say there, and it, it is an incredible um, charity, certainly. Dale, why did you come up with the idea? How? What is this a charity that's close to your heart, or what was your kind of thoughts, and what inspired you to get involved with this? Um, well, we've been organising events together since uh, 2013. We did a celebrity event in April, and uh, after that, I'd always wanted to put together a sort of book for charity with a group of writers. Um, as a writer myself, I wanted to do it with new talent. So it was kind of bringing two things together. It's like a writing initiative, uh, but also raising money for the carer centre. Right, and it is, it's, it's the big care write-up is, is what the whole project is called. Yeah. Um, it's an amazing product. Grace, you've got involved as well, and you've actually written for, yeah. th which is amazing. Tell me, uh, how did you get involved with the project? Well, um I, well, I saw the uh, submission call online and uh, was immediately interested in that um, it's a it's a local charity um, and one that I hadn't really previously heard a lot about. Um, I have people in my family that um, that we have to care for as well, so it's it's a subject that was that I was interested in contributing to if I could. Close to your heart, what what is your story about? I've got Ashley Grace. What <laughs> what have you what have you written about? What can people expect from Leicestershire writer Grace Howland? You know what can they get from this ebook? Um, <laughs> if you like uh, giant alien space moths, <laughs> blimey! Then that's uh, <laughs> giant alien space moths. I don't. I think that takes a little bit of beating, really. Charles, has anybody ever kind of come to you and said, "Right, we're going to make money for the care centre with giant alien space moths"? <laughs> I think not. I have to say, it was a first. Um, <laughs> when when Dale came came to us with the idea, we thought, "Well, this is something that a lot of charities put books out." Um, you, you, you see recipe books and things like that. What you don't see is something as unusual as this and as an e-book, so it, it can be accessed from anywhere in the world uh, and and there are, there are opportunities to raise funds in, in a very different way. We're always looking for new ways to raise funds. Uh, so this, this looked like a safe bet. So far, we've raised about £100 this way in two weeks. Which is quite and amazing, it's a, isn't it? And it's a it? fairly small market to start with because it takes time to develop. How can people go about finding this ebook, Dale? What's the best way of kind of getting involved, supporting this great charity, uh, the Carer Centre? How do people get about downloading it? Uh, basically, we did, we've done it in a very clever way. Uh, we haven't put the book out there so you can just buy it. Um, you have to donate and you'll get a link to the book. Um, so basically the book becomes worth whatever you think it's worth for you to put money into it. Um, 
and you can do that via the Virgin Money Giving page that we've got, um, which I can give now. It's, uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, UK.VirginMoneyGiving.com uh, forward slash the big care write up. And there you can find more information about it and how to donate. UK dot Virgin Money. Virgin Money Giving. Virgin Money Giving. Uh, v- dot com. Dot com. We got, we, we, we're getting this out more. Shh. Don't tell anyone of Leicester. We're trying to give it as many plugs as possible. <laughs> okay, Dad. So t- UK dot Virgin Money Giving dot com forward slash big. No, the, the big care write up. The big care write up. Grace, have you got any other plans? You're obviously uh, a Leicestershire writer. Where did you, is this something that you've you've studied for? Is it a hobby? Is it something that you want to take up as a full time career? Tell me about how you got into writing. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of everything, really. Um, I've I've been writing, you know, pretty much as long as I can remember. Um, at the minute, I'm in my second year, just started at the University of Nottingham. I'm on a creative writing course. Um, um, yeah, mostly fantasy short stories at the minute, just sending out. I've done bits of everything, really. I, th- I think it's absolutely brilliant. I, I really, really do. And if you'd like to get this this wonderful ebook, ebook, sorry, and not only support uh, a great charity, w- let's be honest about it. We could all sit down. It's a horrible day out there today, isn't it? It's not the most inspiring of days by any stretch. Why not get you can well your your laptop out? Other kind of uh, book p- reading platforms are available, obviously, uh, <laughs> other than a Kindle. But um, if you have got that, download this ebook. You can find out more. UK dot Virgin Money Giving dot com forward slash the big care the big care writer. Have I said that right, David? Yes, you have. Indeed. It's a lot. You know what I mean? There's that many things going on in my head today. I can't believe it. <laughs> um, it's a great, great. If uh, as well, Charles, if people do want to um, contribute or certainly um, kind of donate, what, what's the best way of finding out more about what you guys do? If people are even looking for help, perhaps. Okay. Well, the 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 quick way is the website, which is an easier one it's <laughs> www.thecarerscentre.org.uk uh, they can phone us on 0116 uh, or they can email us if they want using enquiries at thecarerscentre.org.uk so the best thing to do is go to your internet search engines, type in the Carer Centre last year in Rutland. If not, you can ring 0116 251 Um Finally, Dale, as well, the e-book is a collection of different stories, isn't it? There are many different stories in there. Have yeah. you, have you contri- have contributed any of your Yes, story? my story's in there as well. So what's your story about? Tell me about that. Uh, mine's called uh, the, the Sirens of Infirmus, and it's basically about a... Uh, it's, it's not the nicest story in the world. Um, it's basically about um, a group of, of the poor people basically get moved to a planet uh, which has been man-made, and they have doctors basically look after them. It's kind of a... It's almost a political statement, so I won't go to it. It's too much, but... Yeah, that's yeah. a good idea, Dale. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's, let's, let's go away from that, shall we? There we go. But, yeah, if you'd like a political story and definitely <laughs> giant space alien moths, I don't think you can do much... You can't go far wrong. It, more importantly, not only supporting local writers of Leicestershire and getting involved with supporting a movement, certainly something we should be very proud of here in Leicestershire, you're also making a lot of money for a great, great charity, the Carers Centre here in Leicestershire in Rutland. Uh, Charles, Dale uh, and Grace, thank you so much for coming in today and telling me I'll be tweeting up on my Twitter feed at AD underscore Damon how you can go about um, uh, downloading and getting this ebook uk.virginmoneygiving.com forward slash the big care write up I'm not sure we've plugged it enough <laughs> <laughs> you three thank you very much indeed thank best you. of luck thank you, thank you.